Hi, this is Ajit here. Today we are going to discuss opalinata. The organisms in this phylum opalinata are called opalines and opalines are non-parasitic endosymbiotes found in the terminal end of the intestine of animals like frogs and some fishes. They are multinucleated, the body is dorsoventrally flattened and opalines are usually very large in size that means it can grow up to 3 mm in length. The body of opalines are covered with cilia. The infraciliature and alveoli are absent unlike ciliophora. The cilia are arranged in helical rows and beat in metachronal waves. The surface bears folds supported by microtubules and in this opalines there are no cytopharynx and nutrients are absorbed via pinocytosis over the entire body surface. Opalines possess a very complex life history in which they get released from cyst and may develop into normal endosymbionts or sexual stages. About 400 living species have been identified and described by scientists from across the world. The most common example of opalinata is opalina. Now we will see opalina in detail. Opalina is a symbiont and it's found in the rectum of amphibians like frogs and toads. The body of opalina is oval and flat. It is lined externally by a pellicle. There are longitudinal rows of cilia around the body of opalina. The cytoplasm of opalina is divided into outer thin ectoplasm and an inner granular endoplasm. The ectoplasm has several contractile myonines. In opalina, we cannot see a cytostome or a contractile vacuole. Opalina is multinucleate with a large number of nucleus present in the endoplasm. Reproduction in opalina takes place by longitudinal binary fission during most part of the year. During fission, the nuclei do not divide, but these are shared equally between two daughter cells. In spring, reproduction takes place by binary plasmatomy in which cell division is repeated again and again without division of the nuclei so that many daughter cells are produced. Each of the daughter cell that is produced will have a few nuclei. The daughter cell now become encysted and will pass out of the host into the water from where they are swallowed by tadpoles. The cyst then dissolves in the intestine of these tadpoles and the cell divides to form uninucleate, microgamete and macrogametes. These anisogametes will fuse to form a zygote and the zygote nucleus undergo repeated divisions so as to produce a multinucleate adult. Thank you for watching the video. Hit the like button if you love the video and click the bell icon for notifications.